It came to my attention that there's a security breach if you own an iPhone. That's right. Anybody who has access to your PIN code can easily change your Apple ID password, which is really bad. And so in today's video, since this is a PDA public service announcement, and this is something that I definitely highly advise everybody to do, especially if you're an iPhone owner, is go ahead and follow these steps to disable this security breach. But first thing first, let me show you how it works so you're better educated on how to prevent somebody from easily doing this and knowing what they're trying to do. And the way it works is basically this. If somebody has access to your iPhone and you know if it's not their device and you constantly like swipe, it's going to give you the capability to enter a pin code, of course. So if somebody knows your pin code and they have access to your device, and let me screen record actually, this is much better. And somebody goes into your settings and then tap on your username and password or name and last name typically, where you find your Apple ID. And if they actually tap on password and security in here, where it says change password, they literally have access to changing your password if they enter your pin code one more time to your Apple ID. So yes, this is not a passcode or anything. This is the Apple ID that you use to sign in to your Apple account. So unfortunately, uh, that's how easy it is to change your password. So to prevent this from happening to anybody, now you are aware how it works. So if somebody suspicious grabs your phone and is trying to do this, you can stop them or beat them up or whatever. I don't do <laughs> encourage violence, I'm just saying. Uh, to prevent this, there's a clever walk around until Apple patches this up. All you gotta do is just back in your settings page, scroll all the way down to screen time. If you haven't set up screen time yet, just follow these on-screen instructions. It should look like this. Once you do that, here where it says use screen time passcode, go ahead and set a passcode that's different from your main iPhone's password to unlock. You are required to enter your Apple ID. Because if you forget this, you're going to be locked out of your iPhone. Tap OK. You'll know you've done it correctly whenever you see the change screen time passcode right here. But now once your passcode is in place and it's different from your main device, now all you got to do is just go into where it says content and privacy restrictions. Tap on here. You're going to want to enable this. Enable this and scroll all the way down to where it says passcode changes. Tap don't allow and account changes don't allow. And once you do that, now if we actually go back to our app ID, you'll notice it's actually fully grayed out. So now if somebody tries to unlock your device using your iPhone's passcode and they go into settings, they won't be able to do anything, eliminating the capability of them to change your app ID. And if you'd like to gain access to this one more time, all you have to do is just go back in screen time and just go into privacy and content restriction and go down and just tap well enter your passcode that you created and just allow and allow again and and you'll have access to it one more time see it's not grayed out but yeah this is a massive like security breach that's going on right now for I all iPhones that's on the latest version of iOS 16 so yeah, go ahead and change these settings, protect yourself and share this video to friends and family, especially like the elderly, I'm sure they're the ones that need this the most, uh, help them out if, if they need to. But other than that, now you are informed. Now, the, hopefully this doesn't happen to anybody that you personally know or yourself. So everybody is safe until Apple finally patches this up. It's so interesting how this wasn't noted, like found out right away as soon as they release this update. Anyways, pretty interesting stuff. Stay protected. But now you are informed and you know what to do. Aside from that, thanks so much for watching, but before you click off, if I win your subscription, make sure you are subscribed because I do this on a regular basis where I make like emergency updates. So to prevent yourself from experiencing any like theft or bugs, sorry, there's a lint flying on in front of the camera. Uh, I highly recommend staying subscribed so I continue updating you guys in case there's some like a security breach or something like that to help make sure you're protected. Aside from that, before you click off one more time, I highly recommend checking out this video over here. If you want to find out more cool things you could do on your iPhone, I cover a bunch of awesome hidden features and some cool tips and tricks I use day to day on my personal device like my iPhone 14 Pro. Aside from that, now, thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.